you also worked at Vertigo. Uh, yeah, I worked there a lot. You you started there. You had Sandman Mystery Theater that was there. Yep. Uh, American Virgin. Yep. And House of Secrets. House of Secrets, of course. Uh, Crusades. Those are my my monthlies that I did. And, and it's I did a, a bunch bird. of specials and one shots and. Um, what did, how did you come to work there and what was the, uh, what, was it still creator owned there or was it a, yeah, when I was there, I was there early, so it was very creator owned. It got less so as time went by. Uh, so I fall into things. I, I'm very intentional. Everybody who meets me is like, oh, he's very systems and intentional. And that's true, except about my life. My life has been a series of what? Okay, whatever. And I go do that. And then it's my career for many years, uh, strangely. Until recently, I think in the last five years, I've been more, this is what I'm going to do, but I was never that way. So I was living out here in California. I was teaching at Pasadena City College speech and debate because I love speech team stuff. I'm a a geek from way back when, and my wife still coaches that on occasion, so I I kept my finger in it. I moved out here. I was teaching a speech team at Pasadena City College. I was friends with a comic book writer, James Robinson at the time, who was like, why don't you do comic books anymore? And I'm like, because I'm a teacher now. He's like, well, you should go to New York with me and meet some editors, and then you could probably get some comics work. I'm like, I'll go to New York with you and try to get some comics work. So we flew to New York. He introduced me to Bill Kaplan, who then went to Image, so it was that editor. And Bill Kaplan's like, is this guy any good? And James is like, yeah, he's, he's been nominated for an Eisner already. He's like, well, what are you doing now? I'm like, I'm a teacher. He's like, why aren't you doing comics? I'm like, I don't know. So he's like, okay, well, pitch me some stuff. So I pitched him a book that they bought as a monthly. And at the same time, Matt Wagner, uh, who did... Grindle and Mage, still doing Mage at Image right now. Uh, he called me because I had done a Grindle Tales story for him a long time ago uh, before this. And he was like, listen, I'm doing Sam and Mystery Theater for Vertigo. I've done a year. I'm going to quit. Uh, they want me to stay. I told him I'd only stay if I got a co-writer. Do you want to co-write with me? And I was like, uh, weirdly enough, I'm selling a book to DC already, so I'm probably too busy. I said, but also you and I, like, I love him. As a, as a person, I'm like, but you and I are a lot of like really headstrong. I think we just fight. I don't think it would go well. He's like, fly up to Portland and let's talk about it. I'm like, Ugh. so I flew up to Portland, went to his house. He's like, I'm going to cook you dinner. He's a really good cook. I'm like, okay, I'm in for that. Uh, and he's like, here, watch, watch my daughter. And he had just had Amanda Wagner's daughter. She was like months old. And he's like, hands me this little, yeah. I'm like, I don't know what to do with babies. He's like, I got to go to the store. I'm out of stuff. And he just left. I've got this baby. It's like lone wolf and cub with me and this kid. I'm like, uh, and I'm just wandering around. Never, I don't think I'd held a baby this young ever. And then I would get near the refrigerator and she'd go, ah, ah. I'm like, I'd move away from the refrigerator. She's like, ah, back to the refrigerator. Eh. I'm like, he's gone. When is he coming back? What does this baby want? And I'm like, refrigerator, think this through, Siegel. You can do this. And I, I'm like, formula. There's something that she's, okay. So I open the refrigerator and I pull out the formula and she's like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, thank God you didn't die while he was gone. Uh, and then he came back and he made dinner and I'm like, why did you leave me with your baby? He's like, ah, you're fine. You, you, you get used to it. I got used to it. I'm like, ah. And then, uh, we ate dinner and then he's like, so here's what we're going to do for the next four issues. And I'm like, okay, but what about, and we just started working and I was like, I've been duped. We didn't have a conversation about how we would work. We just started working and then we worked just, it was super easy. It was just super easy to work with him. And then I spent the rest of my time on that book trying to convince him not to quit. Because every year he'd be like, okay, you just do it. I'm like, no, I don't want to just do it. I want to do it with you. And so I would always negotiate a way for him to stay on. I'm like, what if you just just give me like a page of an overview for four issues and then I'll send you something and you can. So I'd, we'd just negotiate how we could both keep doing it. And then eventually he quit. Oh, and then how, it got long did, how long did it take him to quit? Five years. Oh, all that's right. pretty well, good. That's a, that's a pretty long. <laughs> I think he did five years uh, and then I did five years. So he did the first year without me and I did the last year without him. Oh, wow. And Guy Davis and a lot of great artists the whole time. Guy Davis is the nicest person alive. So it was it was easy to work on. Nice. And after that you, you worked on um you worked on American Virgin. House of Secrets. House of Secrets was after that. Yeah. That is you've done a lot of issues of House of Secrets. I think there's there's the omnibuses. We did twenty five monthly issues and then we did two prestige forty eight painted issues. And Teddy Christensen, who I worked with a lot, was the primary artist on that. And he's, he's just not a monthly guy. Like, he, he wanted to be a monthly guy, and I wanted him to be a monthly guy. And we just got more and more behind on our schedule. So DC was like, listen, we like this book, but maybe you just do specials when they're done. And I'm like, could we paint those? And they're like, yes. So that made them come out even lot later than they would have. Uh, so we did that. And then Teddy and I stopped doing it because I sold them It's a Bird, which I didn't think in a million years they would do, a Superman book about how much I don't like Superman. 
And they said yes, so then we had to do that. And that took it took about two years to get through. It's 128 painted pages, and wow. it was a lot of work. And by then, we were like, ah, we're kind of done with House of Secrets. So. But you finished House of Secrets then? We had already finished it. Or, or did we do? See, I don't know. I'm, I'm, my mind is a fuddle. We might have done It's a Bird and then House of Secrets facade, or maybe the other way. Okay. I don't know. They were like, you have to wrap up House of Secrets before you do that? Well, there's no wrapping it up, because House of Secrets was, it was wildly experimental. Uh, every story arc was told in a completely different way. The scripts were even radically different, story arc to story arc. So Teddy, that was one of the things Teddy wanted. He's like, I want to be surprised every new time that we're telling a new story. So I started him sending him scripts that were written just in radically different ways and going, make sense of this if you dare. Because uh, not only the, like, the narrative point of view would be different, the storytelling modality would be different. I'd be like, this one is all two panel pages with five different narrative arcs that interweave. This one is told backwards. This one is a time travel story. This, you know, so it was a lot of, maybe, maybe I exhausted him. Maybe he wasn't slow. Maybe he was tired. He was like, what do, I don't know what to do anymore. It's, <laughs> it's too much coming at me from every no, angle. No, he always knew what to do. Was, he did a great job on that. Teddy, you and Teddy have been working together for a long time, so you guys have a great relationship. He once said to me, he's like, I like you. Let's just make comics until one of us is dead. Wow. And I was like, that's either really creepy or really romantic. So I'm going to go romantic and say yes. <laughs> so I we're, love it. we're still trying to make comics together.